gameplay time, boys. Weekend League has just started, and this is one of my first five games, man. I will tell you, if you want to kind of avoid the sweats, don't play Weekend League on Thursday, right? Weekend League has a great matchmaking system when you have, you know, when you have your 10 and 0 or your 15 and 1 or if you're 12 and 4, you know, you got a pretty good record. It's going to match you up with other people with pretty good records, right? But if you just start, they're going to match you up with anybody, you know? So you're not going to get matched up with people that are 15 and 0, people that are 10 and 2. You're going to get matched up with people that are, you know, 1 and 3 or 3 and 3 or something like that. But if you start on Thursday, Everybody's zero and zero, two and one, four and two, uh, five and zero, or something. So there's really not that big a difference from uh, the the matchmaking process. Everybody's got to kind of got put in the same pot. So if you got a little bit of advice from this video, if you want to have a better record in weekend league, I wouldn't start to at least Friday. Let some people get ahead of you. Let some pe let some good people spread out their games, and so you don't get matched up with the super demons uh, in the first night. But I'll play the first night. That's my job, you know. So if you want to watch these games live, twitch.tv slash dub. We are live every single night with Madden action, man. But this game was great. Showed you that kicking field goals sucks, but it can still win you games, man. And I got this new kicker. His name's Jan Stinner Nude, whatever. But in this game, I believe he kicks at least two 60 yarders. Uh, and it just changes the game. It makes it so you can play safe. You can play for a field goal, and it's so much easier to play for a field goal if as soon as you cross the 50, you're in field goal range. So like I said, man, follow these social medias. I appreciate the support. I'm going, let's get into this gameplay. So this guy was a Bears fan, and I don't know how you guys feel about Bears fans, Bears guys that wear the Bears jerseys. Are they good at Madden? Who knows? Um, but also, as I asked that, which jerseys do you guys see and think this guy sucks at Madden? There's no good... Tampa Bay Buck fans. There's no good Patriot fans. As I use Moss as a decoy, hit the crossing route to Calvin Johnson right there. Big first down. Use Moss as a decoy. That's the key. But like I said, everybody that wears the Eagles jerseys, I think, is absolutely beast at Madden. Uh, people that wear the Giants jerseys might be the worst. As I hit this crossing route over here to Mr. Julio Jones, Juli Manduli. Motion over the corner route, but we're going to go ahead and hit this in route. Boom, Evan Ingram. First and goal on the one. You know what that means. Blast that ass. Touchdown. Uh, seven nothing. Pretty easy drive to start the game. Um, you know, and and it's not going to stay that way. This guy kind of fights. That's one thing I tell you, man. If you guys can't score on the first drive when your opponent doesn't know what you're going to do, eh, it's going to be a little bit rough the rest of the game. So the first drive should always be the easiest drive on offense, as far as I'm concerned. As a offensive player, things here with Moss, I put everybody in the zone. I said, Pat Pete, get your one on one, Pat Pete. Show them why they pay you the big bucks. And we're going to take this. No, we're not. Randy Moss is going to take it to the crib. Uh, that's the Moss ability. Uh, sometimes, like I said, this while I was streaming this game, you got to put on a show, man. I'm in the entertainment business. We are going to leave that one on one and try to make a play because uh, I'm supposed to be a pro man player. I got to be able to stop Moss one on one every once in a while. Sometimes you get burnt, and right there, Pat Pete got burnt. Boom. Simple as that. But Next drive, 7-7, seven, seven, so he got a free 7. Uh, I'm afraid of Taylor Mays. I will tell you, running blast, Taylor Mays. Actually, every uh, Taylor Mays, Pat Tillman, Clowney, Shazier, those guys just kill Vic, and that's for like all, all the guys I run against. Uh, and as Evan Ingram makes a tackle right there on Walter Payton for him. Second and four, going to roll out to the left a little back side. We're going to do this crossing route, bring the receiver back, get that 6-4 Randy Moss frame in front of the DB. Boom, big catch right there. Next play, blast. Go up the middle, get inside the 15-yard line. First and 10 on 13. Go for this wheel route over here to Walter Payton. He drops it. Boom, disappointing. Next play, we're going to look for the same thing. Throwing a flat, Sean Taylor could have picked that, but you know. He could have clicked on, but he let the computer swat it. Third down, Aaron Donald's going to get me. We're going to settle for three right here. But listen, when you watch me play Weekend League, we don't settle. We take the chances because that's what you have to do if you want to go 25-0. and 0, Touchdown, Michael Vick. Demoralize him. Great call by Coach Clef right there. We're going to go up 14-7, man. This is the first quarter is not even over. Uh, already tons of huge plays in this game. As my man Jan kicks it off to Michael Irvin, the playmaker. I haven't played against this new card, this new Michael Irvin card. I don't know if you guys have it. If you do, let me know. Like I said, I think the three best receivers are Moss, Julio, and Calvin. I think it'll pretty much be that way for the rest of the year. Um, maybe T.O. will give somebody a run for her money, but that's why I like. He goes for the post route back across the middle. Boom! Brian Dawkins. And we're going to swag a little bit. What could have been an easy pick six. Like I said, the entertainment business. That's what we do. Blast right there up the middle for a little bit. 
boom, we're going to take this uh, close to the two minute or the second quarter. Whoop, right around Clowney. Clowney's one of those guys I kind of fear running blast. I kind of fear Clowney. He takes my head off a little bit. We're going to run blast right here. Get up close to the end zone. Just keep pushing. And, you know, if you're one inch away, you, there's not a better play in the game for short yardage. Honestly, passing wise and moving the ball. I, and as I go for another fake here, open up the special teams playbook. This time he was kind of ready for it, but Jan couldn't really do nothing there for me. But uh, honestly, if it wasn't for short yardage, I probably wouldn't run blast as much. I, I think it's great to get big plays and it's fun to use and make highlights. But um, uh, this just short yardage is actually a super weapon. That's why I love it. And we're doing a good job early in this game against this kid. Uh, he's definitely, I was running 3-3-5 wide as he throws the corner route right here. I was running that. I don't normally run that. I'm just, you know, kind of running a different defense. Every time you, I don't want to say you get bored with Madden, but you kind of get bored with Madden. Let's try to run something different. Let me try to mix it up. 3-3-5 three, three, wide is probably the best run defense in the game. So I'm trying to just make it pass defense. And he's actually doing a good job. He was getting real comfortable this game. Uh, I hate when my opponent is comfortable. That's a word I use a lot, man. Com comfort is key in offensive Madden. It always has been. And this guy, honestly... He started getting kind of comfortable as he pops him with a post route over there to the playmaker, Michael Irvin. Gets a first and goal on the eight. Next play, he's going to look for this post route to Evan Ingram, but Pat Pete just knocks it out of his hand. Nice play. Then we're going to go ahead. Uh, just got to stop him here, and Brian Dawkins can't tackle Barry Sanders. I can see if he got juked, but to shoulder shrug a golden ticket safety? Disappointing. But we're still up six. We're good. Uh, and... Right here, just taking what Vic has, but we tried to throw the ball on the in route, but as they say, I was across the line. I feel like the referee was, he was a little bit petty with these calls right here. As we throw a little run, uh, Walter Payton dragging forward for five yards. Next play, we're going to straddle the line again. Now, the rule is, if if even your pinky finger is still behind the line, you can throw the ball forward. I think Madden is a little bit petty with these calls. Is it fourth and ten, we're going to fire at his user. Because he doesn't have lurker. He doesn't have ability. He has a linebacker. He's not going to jump. Streak specialist Randy Moss first down. That's what it's about. But we'll come back to that later in the game. Because uh, you see me chucking his user there. It was fourth down. Um, it, 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 you know, that's pretty much what I was going to do before the play even started. Uh, but like I said, if I don't get it, I have to, I have to you know, turn, I turn the ball over anyway. You know, uh, but right here, we're going to try to go ahead and hit this streak right here, but you see the mid-read zone just really matching with my streak up the middle. We get sacked by by uh, Lawrence Taylor, um, and we're going to kick a 60-yard field goal. This is what Jan does. Get this kicker. I, I, I really feel like he he's going to impact the game more than any of these golden tickets that you get. Uh, and I listen, I think I bought him last week for 400 k so he has to be down probably around 300 k maybe something like that, but it's worth it as he's got a two-minute drive going right here. I wish I could tell you guys, what I was doing with my lurk right here, um, you know, sometimes when you're lurking, you you really kind of get lost, and you know, you're like, wow, but he's not gonna throw this pass, especially on this play. I'm like, he's not gonna throw right at me, but he threw right at me. It's kind of like my fourth down play though. If he doesn't get that, he is not gonna be able to get points. So the risk and reward it, it was was worth it for him to fire that pass in. But we're up three, going into the second half. Boom, just gotta play defense. I'm feeling okay. He's starting to get comfortable against my three three five wide. I'm going to stick to it because I'm just trying something new, uh, trying to get good at this defense. As I spy Brian Dawkins, send him. He has nowhere to go as he went for the corner route. The one thing this guy was really good at was cut blocking. And just as you see it again, that time he goes with a post over the middle to Michael Irvin, the playmaker. Um, this Michael Irvin card kind of killed me. But uh, shoot. Next play again. He's looking for this playmaker. Luckily, Ramsey gets to the quarterback, makes that play. Prevents him from throwing it up there. Michael Irvin again. I swear I could have picked that off, but uh, I wasn't prepared. I thought I thought there was no way that we get a pick right there, but Pat Pete probably could have took that. Um, next play is just going to scramble with RG3, and boom! Night train lane, man. You cannot take hits with the quarterback, especially if all your plays are rolling out, rolling out, rolling out. Your quarterback's stamina is going to be low. If your player's stamina is low, that's when you get popped and the ball comes out. Once again, this guy really did cover two. If you play against Dagger or Trey Y Flex, uh, cover two is really good against it because of the mid-read zone. As I put the little curl right there, I realized who he was using, what zone he was going to vacate to make his user, and I put a curl right there to exploit it. Next play, Walter Payton actually gets tackled by Taylor Mays. The ability to uh, secure tackle or whatever it may be. Boom, hit sticked right there, Taylor Mays. I'm, I'm at the 43-yard line. This is still field goal range. We're going to go for the corner route. Nothing there. We're going to throw the ball away. And you know what? I'm up six, so a field goal is going to put me up nine. Let's bring the big boot out, another 60-yarder. Sometimes I wish in Madden 
uh, field goals counted like they do in fantasy. You know, a fantasy, a 60-yard field goal in fantasy, I believe, is six points. That would be great, but it's only three, but we're up nine. Goes for the streak right there, and there's Dion. We talk about DBs. Who's your favorite DB? Who's the best in the game? Dion is, I, I just feel like he's glitched in Madden. He's always performed well in Madden. He won me a lot of money in the Madden Bowl. Uh, he's been good every single year, so I still use him in the slot. I uh, honestly feel like he could play anywhere. He's just that good in Madden. He's just a special card to me. I think he's just, he, there's something in the coding, as they say, that makes him tough. But I'm, I'm struggling against this guy's base cover, too. Uh, his mid reads, the mid linebackers now being 98 speed, it's just a pain in the ass to try to burn them or hit any type of post or anything of that nature. But we're back up 12 points. I feel good, man. We're going to let this time run. He goes with a little uh, no huddle here. I, I'm cool. I'm, if you want to run for 10 yards, you can have it. If you want to throw out y'all route for 10 yards, you can have it. Hopefully, even if he scores, I want to hope this drive gets to the two minute warning so I have a chance to end the game with my next drive. Here he goes running like a chicken with his head cut off. Playmaker up and somehow, geez, what a throw. What a catch by Tory Holt. Um, that diving catch. And here I go try to blitz. Everybody hits me with a little touch pass to the playmaker, Michael Irving. Oh, man. Great play by him. I mean, Michael Irving is killing me. This kid is way too comfortable. We're only up five now, but you know the first play. We're going to go for it all. Try to burn this cover, too. I, I ugh, just, he lurked it. I can't lie. It was so bad. Uh, <laughs> try to take the top off, and, and the worst part is he's going to return it close to the 50-yard line with Pat Tillman right here, past the 50, into my territory. That's okay. We're still at five. Just can't let him score here. Goals for the corner route. Boom. Evan Ingram diving catch. Good throw by RG3. Uh, he's blinking. Uh, what's the name is blinking? But Pat Pete is always blinking. He's always in the zone, always ready to make a play for us. One too many corner routes, Pat Pete. Right here, I'm going for another bomb, but you see the linebacker just locks up B. I slide there. I'll take the loss of yards just to get to the two-minute warning. Uh, second and 17. Ah, maybe could have thrown the ball away. We're going to get to a, a, a second and 17 now. Uh, look for the corner route, but just, I'm telling you, divert hook in the cloud over there are bumping the hell out of my trip side. It's messing up my timing so bad if you see it right there again. Here we go for the, the double move to Ingram. He's going to make this play for me, but no. Even, and we're going to go for fourth down here, but look at his, the look at his defense right now. I know he's blitzing me. I'm going to try to throw and snap throw his user again. Uh, but this time, instead of Shazier, he has Taylor Mays and just snags the ball from me. Great play by, and this is the worst part. Let me play defense. Throwing a pick six is the worst thing you can do here because now we're down. Now Madden is telling him to go for two. He should go for two. And I'm, I press A, so I'm in goal line. Now, I need my timeouts, you know, but I'll tell you, calling a timeout here is 1,000% worth it to me. I want my best defense on the field because if I stop him from here, I can use big big leg jam to kick another 60-yarder to win the game. So making the stop on a two-point is worth me burning a timeout right there. I hate that Madden calls your play for you on situations like this. It's just it's it needs to be out of the game, honestly. So I'm just going to edge blitz. I'm going to put my safety in the hook curl, press the hell out of the receivers, guard the left side, and Miles Garrett eats. That's why I call timeout to get my A defense out there for that two-point play. Now we just need a field goal. I'm going to run the first play just to run the clock. You know, the clock is my friend. There's no runoff in Mutt. You have all day. Looking for the corner route over here. Boom. Sean Taylor breaks it up. That bump is really messing up my timing. Third and six. We're going to go for dagger again. Boom, in route, throw it low so the linebacker can't get after it. Randy Moss first down. Now I see that blitz look again. The only time he's giving me the blitz look is on that fourth down and now. So when I see that, I want to audible to blast. He has nobody on the right side of the field. Look at my number advantage on the right side of the field. We're just going to call blast, get away from Taylor Mays, get into field goal range. GG's, we're going to be able to milk the clock from here. Uh, just recognize he went to that blitz look twice in the game. It kind of got me the first time. Uh, well, at least got a turnover for him, got a stop. But once I saw that blitz look again, I audible to the right play. Blast is such a weapon. I mean, I don't think it's a main offense. You need to be able to do other things. But it's such a weapon in that situation. And this goes back to my last video. If you didn't watch that, watch that. I'm going to come out on third down, and I want to start my meter right away. Once I start my meter, he cannot call timeout. And all I got to do is hold it. Hold it to the end. The clock is running. Boom. Just hold my field goal. Let it go around three or two seconds. And that's just GG's in the chat. Calling timeout to make sure I stop that two-point conversion. I'll be honest. Most of the time, I just rock with whatever defense they give me. If Madden wants me to run goal line, I might put some purple zones out there, or some spies or contains. 
but I, I really thought it was, it was worth me burning a timeout. Now, had I turned the ball over or didn't score on that drive, uh, I would have lost the game. You know, but you have to realize that getting a field goal with these kickers and mutt is easy. I believe. I only scored two touchdowns that game. Both of them were in the first half, you know. So second half was all field goals for me, as you see Vic and RG3 right there embracing. And that's the game, man. I did not score a touchdown in the second half, but we went ahead and got that victory. So if you enjoyed the content, you enjoyed everything going on, man, just please go ahead, hit the like button. As you see this pressing that's going on with my guys, this is one thing that I, I just... Pressing the hell out of my receivers is definitely, it messes up the timing. So if you're ever playing a pass-happy offense, man, get that press involved, especially when zones start pressing. It's, it's definitely a nightmare because a lot of what we do passing-wise is timing. And if you can just bump these hitches, bump the streaks, especially if a streak is running off deep blues to open up a void in between the zones, if you mess up that timing, man, you're definitely going to mess up a passer's offense. But like I said, if you like what you saw, please hit that like button and subscribe and watch these games live to break down all these breakdowns that I do and show everybody. So uh, like I said, thank you guys.